Welcome back to GoSickamores.com, continuing coverage of Missouri Valley Conference Media Day. It's Dan Muller, the head coach of the Illinois State Redbirds. Coach, when the Redbirds and Sycamores hook up, can always count on really just classic basketball games, really good basketball games. I know you're really excited about the group you have coming back because you pretty much got darn near everybody coming back. We do, and you're right about those games. You know, my six years, I think we're even uh, with Indiana State. You know, Greg's teams obviously are well coached, athletic, athletic physical and play well against us. Um, I really like my group a lot, a lot. Um, and that being said, I think this could be one of the best years the Valley's had in a long time. If you look at the returning pieces, the success Loyola had, obviously. I mean, I'm really excited about our league, um, but we certainly expect two or three battles with the Sycamores this year. <laughs> you know, I've asked uh, all the coaches this question here today. You know, a year ago at this time, there may have been uncertainty nationally about this league. But you guys as coaches, there was no uncertainty whatsoever. How gratifying was it, uh, even though I know you were confident your group, if they could have got a crack at the term, it could have made a run like Loyola did, but to know that people are now starting to realize that uh, you can throw out the term mid-major, uh, this is a very good basketball league. Well, it is gratifying, and yet it's still frustrating because we go year to year and we have success. And again, I'm almost positive our last 12 teams that have made the tournament have won at least one game. That is an astronomical statistic. It, it, you can't, and yet you, it's, that's where the frustration comes in. And so to watch Loyola, to root for them on their run was awesome, awesome for our league, especially after the year Wichita State left. Even though as coaches internally we felt very good about our league, I think there was some skepticism nationally. And so that did verify you know, what we feel about the league. And I, I think, honestly, and I said it, I think this year we will follow it up um, with tremendous non-conference success, which you need to have in a, as a league, and then a great Valley race. So we've got to build off of it. Credit to Loyola, but we've got to build off of it. The biggest thing, too, you brought up those 12 straight wins in the tournament. I think the Valley has had the lower seed in the majority of those games, which makes that probably accomplishment all, even more. Probably all but yeah. one, or maybe Wichita State, Wichita State had, State had a couple. But yep. Yeah, and it, it is. And, and again, two Final Fours in the last five years. <laughs> I think we're one of like four conferences that have done that. Um, I'm I know I'm preaching to the crowd right now, but <laughs> it only people ask, you know, what's the run do for your league? And there's two things. Number one, if it helps you in recruiting, then that is sustainable. But number two, if, if it doesn't change how they view us when it comes selection time, then it doesn't matter, nationally at least. So um, hopefully we'll get some of that respect, but I'm somewhat skeptical about about that. But again, we've got to – as uh, we all have to do our part, which is win non-conference games. For your team this year, the biggest message, the biggest demand you have for them when you start practice next week? Well, it's always the same. It's, it's guards, play defense. Um, you know, I believe in playing unselfishly offensively and with incredible intensity defensively, and everybody wants to score. And so I think you know, we ended last year playing very well. You know, we, we put our last 10 to 12 games defensively, we were under 40% and we won whatever it was. So we finished strong, um, and we've got to carry that over this year. I do think we'll have more scoring power this year with some returners, improvement, and then some incoming players. But we've, we've got a guard. That's, that's how we play at Illinois State. You know, I'm going to use a word uh, which I think will make a coach cringe. Uh, but knowing you have so many guys coming back, does it make – the early portions of the practice. I don't want to say easier, right. but in terms of maybe you can work on a little bit more because there's just a more understanding of what you've done for years. It absolutely makes it easier. And um, not that practice is set up or scheduled easier, but when players know what to do, know what to expect, know the level of standard that we have, it absolutely is. We had that two years ago when we had those four seniors, had a great year practice, just flowed better. And it's always best when your older players can teach the younger players not only the drills, but again that level of expectation, that standard that you have for how hard you compete, the type of energy you come to practice with. And I think we have that this year. So um, I expect us to be able to progress better than we did last year. Last year we were so young, had so many new players. Um, and that helps you improve uh, more rapidly. So we, we've got to use that to our advantage, and that takes maturity. You know, this may be the hardest question I've asked you all interview long. The reason I want to ask you this, because I was there and I got on film a year ago, how does the manager game look for the Redbirds this year after hitting what was just a miraculous shot to knock off Christian Smith and the Indiana State managers last year? 
Well, I can tell you that um, when we lost, our managers lost last year in the championship game, uh, devastated. I'm talking about not just our managers, our entire program, all of Redbird Nation, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so I, I know our guys are hungry, hungry to come back and, and, and compete. I will say this, managers are a critical part of every program. Um, they don't get enough credit. They work selfless hours and do selfless work. And I do think they have tremendous benefit from it. But we have a, an unbelievable group of managers that we, you know, bust their, you know what, a lot and have fun with them, and they're, they're awesome. Coach, always appreciate the time. I know we're still in the midst of football season, but excited basketball is right around the corner. It's always basketball season, baby. <laughs> Thank you.